इंटीग्रेशन इन टाइम डोमेन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लैपलास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म If continuous time signal is x t, its Laplace transform is x of s with R O C R. Then the Laplace transform of integration of x t is x of s by s, and the new R O C is at least. intersection of the roc of x of s and real value of s greater than 0 now the integration of x tau d tau this can be written as from minus infinity to sorry this is uh, Here upper limit is t. Integration of x tau from minus infinity to t can be written as integration of x tau u t minus tau from minus infinity to plus infinity. Because this signal u t minus tau. is 1 from minus infinity to t and zero otherwise so if we replace ut minus tau by 1 then limits will be minus infinity to t so this integration of x tau from minus infinity to t can be written as integration of x tau u t minus tau and in t lower limit is minus infinity upper limit is plus infinity Now integrate. Sorry, Laplace transform of x t is integration of x t e to the power minus s t from minus infinity to plus infinity. So the Laplace transform of integration of x tau from minus infinity to t this is integration of integration of integration of x tau e to the power minus st now this integration of x t from minus infinity to t will be replaced by expression 1 so this will be integration of integration of x tau u t minus tau e to the power minus st dt now we will multiply e to the power 
एस टाउ एंड इटू दी पावर माइनस एस टाउ सो दिस विल बी एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी विल चेंज दी ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन u t माइनस टाउ दिस इ टू दी पावर माइनस एस टी इन टू इ टू दी पावर एस टाउ इज इ टू दी पावर माइनस एस टी माइनस टाउ फर्स्ट वी विल इंटीग्रेट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टी एंड देन आउट साइड दिस इंटीग्रेशन वी हैव e to the power minus s tau d tau now this is nothing but the laplace transform of unit step signal that is 1 by s with roc real value of s greater than 0 so now we have 1 by s x tau e to the power minus s tau d tau this 1 by s is in independent of the integration so this is 1 by s integration of x tau e to the power minus s tau d tau and this term is nothing but the laplace transform of x of s with roc r so we can cl conclude that laplace transform of integration of x tau from minus infinity to t is 1 by s and its roc is real value of s greater than 0 into x of s with roc r so the final roc will be intersection of r and real value of s greater than 0 in fact final roc is at least intersection of roc of x of s and real value of s greater than 0 because in case of uh, pole zero can cancellation roc can be greater than interaction of r and real value of s greater than 0 now let's see few examples of uh, this property Laplace transform of u t is one by s with r o c real value of s greater than zero. Suppose this is x t and this is x of s. Now y t is another signal which is integration of u tau from minus infinity to t. now this u tau is 1 for tau greater than 0 and 0 otherwise basically unit step signal so lower limit of integration is 0 upper limit is t and uh, for this limit u tau is 1 where obviously t should be greater than 0 so this integration is tau lower limit 0 upper limit t so which is t for t greater than 0 so we can write y t is t u t or y t is basically a ramp signal and the laplace transform of t u t or ramp signal is 1 by a square with roc real value of s greater than 
now we can use the integration property integration in time domain property to find the La Laplace transform of T U T Laplace transform of U T is 1 by S with ROC real value of S greater than 0 so Laplace transform of integration of U tau is S into Laplace transform of U T that is 1 by S sorry it is 1 by s into Laplace transform of ut that is 1 by s and the ROC remains unchanged so this left hand side is t u t and this Laplace transform is 1 by s square with the same ROC. Let's see one more example of integration in time domain property. Suppose xt is e to the power minus t ut, its Laplace transform is 1 upon s plus 1 with ROC real value of s greater than minus 1. Now yt is another signal which is integration of x tau from minus infinity to t. Here u tau is 1 for tau greater than 0. So lower limit of integration is 0, upper limit is t e to the power minus tau. u tau is 1. Now if I integrate then this will be e to the power minus e to the power minus tau lower limit 0 upper limit t where t is greater than 0. So y t is minus e to the power minus t e to the power 0 is 1. So this will be y t is 1 minus e to the power minus t ut or yt is ut minus e to the power minus t ut now if i take the laplace transform of yt then this will be 1 by s laplace transform of ut is 1 by s and laplace transform of e to the power minus t ut is 1 upon s plus 1 so this will be s into s plus 1 in numerator s plus 1 minus s so ys is 1 upon s into s plus 1 with ROC real value of s greater than minus 1. Now we can find this Laplace transform using the integration in time domain property. Laplace transform of e to the power minus t ut is 1 upon s plus 1 with ROC real value of s greater than minus 1. Now the Laplace transform of integration of e to the power minus tau u tau is 1 by s into Laplace transform of e to the power minus t ut that is 1 upon s plus 1 and the ROC is real value of s greater than minus 1. This integration is 1 minus e to the power minus t u t and the Laplace transform is 1 upon s into s plus 1 with real value of s greater than minus 1. So this is how we can find the Laplace transform using the integration in time domain property of Laplace transform.